K Crew, we back with another one. What I look like giving up today when tomorrow might be the day I win. And as you see by silent thumbnail, I'm gonna be doing a story time about how my twin gave head to my crush in ninth grade. Well, in high school. I'm just gonna say high school. That's gonna be the title. But um, my twin, y'all, not my brother, okay? My twin brother, no. My twin that I used to call my twin. If y'all know, y'all know. But if y'all don't, you don't. Um, uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, of course. The story time is going to be funny. It's going to be all over the place because I haven't wrote anything down like I did last time. And even the story to time before that where I was talking to a 29-year-old at 19. Um, go watch that story time if you haven't. Um but that story time was all over the place too skip 10 minutes ahead that's when it gets interesting but um for this one i'm gonna try to make it simple short i already did 10 minutes of la 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 and i was like okay let me just start over so just just give me just give me give me 30 minutes okay not even okay I, i'm gonna try to all right so basically i met my twin i'm gonna just call her my twin I, I made up a fake name last the last clip um i'm not doing that again um my twin I ended up meeting her in sixth grade. So sixth, seventh grade, eighth grade, we're cool. Like we're getting really close. Like this is like my, that's my twin. You know what I'm saying? Um, this like we called herself twin before. Like twin was a thing. Like this was my twin. Like my twin. Like like we had like a birthday where we would celebrate our twin birthday. Like th we were sisters. Okay, but um, fast forward to eighth grade, coming into ninth grade year that summer i got into a program for like that gives you money whenever you go to the, these classes um for college and it, it ends up being like five thousand some dollars i didn't end up completing it because i they made me choose between volleyball and um that program and i was obviously choosing volleyball so um then um but not then in that program that summer there's like other kids there i see this one guy he's ugly i've been said he was ugly never said he was cute let's get that straight but um i was like oh yeah he's funny he's tall like nobody else likes him my other friends were liking other people so i was like okay yeah i can like this boy you know what i'm saying if you don't know i am gay okay that's why i'm saying all this thing, but explanation of why i like the nigga okay he was ugly he was funny and he was tall and nobody else liked him and then that all changed but so then okay so so i told my friends okay i like this guy blah 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 um my friend ended up liking him too and was like can i date him blah blah, blah. i said yes if you really don't want your friend to date your crush or like you have a crush on the nigga don't do that like you're just gonna be like damn afterwards like even if i told you yes why'd you go do it you know what i'm saying like don't be mad over the nigga i feel like you should if you if you're mad over the nigga then anyway but i mean you could be mad over the nigga because i mean if you're really straight then i guess you would be mad over the nigga but or maybe i don't know anyway okay so <clears throat> fast forward uh ninth grade year um mind you this this boy he's a hoe I'm telling you right now, he's a hoe. Like he he done dated everybody, liked everybody, sent everybody nudes, like through Snapchat, done did this, that, that, that. Like everybody. Everybody. And I'm just like, and he would try to get at me back, and I'd just be like, how you gonna date my friend and then try to get at me? Girl, no. no we're not we're not doing that, first of all. Um But then so then, okay, so my mom comes back April, like, 7th, April 9th of my freshman year. If I have to hold it, I will, literally, because I literally need to edit it. But, um, so basically, my um, twin is coming home or coming to school from her little trip, her club, and it's like a short day so we end up getting out early some people stay at the school we end up playing games or like they have sports or whatever or clubs so they end up staying after school on wednesdays especially so i was like no i'm gonna go home i don't really want to stay up here to do anything or anything like that so i end up going home especially it's like i'm like i'm just gonna go home i haven't seen my mom in hella long so i'm just gonna go home and because it's like two weeks after she came back um 
so I ended up telling my mom literally as I come home I'm like I don't know I feel like something's something's off like I don't I feel like something's gonna go wrong she's like why like why she's like with who I'm like with you like I don't know like you ever have that feeling she's like yeah like something probably is you know intuition's pretty strong and so I'm just like whatever like nothing's gonna go wrong my twin ended up calling me she's like hey like can you pick me up from the school I'm like you know where I live mind y'all I live like three blocks away from the school three four blocks so I'm like why are you calling me telling me you need me to pick you up when you could you know where I live we literally walk you've known me since sixth grade we've walked from the same place to the same place every single day after school literally so why do you need me to pick it she's just like can you come pick me up porters at the school blah 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 that's a, a guy that used to come to our or used to go to our school and move to a different school and he visits sometimes so i was like okay fuck it i'll go up there and since you need me to go up there so bad i'll go up there so i go pick her up and the camera is overheating that's so irritating all right so i ended up picking her up from the school and she ends up like telling me on the way back um yeah, so I gave that boy head. I'm like, huh? <laughs> and I just start laughing. And, like, because I'm thinking she's joking. She's pranking. Like, you know what I'm saying? Especially, like, during this time, YouTube pranks were going on. And people would like to prank each other just for no reason. Because they thought it was cool because of YouTube. So I was like, ha, you're funny. Good prank. Ha, funny. Like, that shit's not funny. <laughs> like, and she's like, I'm not joking. Like, I'm serious. Like, I'm sorry. Like, blah, blah, blah. I'm like girl and I throw my shoe at her like still thinking she's joking still thinking after I react she's gonna say it's a prank so we're walking home all the way to my house she's not saying it's a prank you know what I'm saying she's not saying it's a joke so when we get back inside my bed like when we get back inside my room oh, bro my camera's about to overheat y'all and I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator and then I'm gonna come back this is so weird I literally have to do another video I'll come back a few moments later all right y'all i'm back i put it in the freezer for like five six minutes so um i don't know where i was at okay so yeah so i'm in my bedroom and she's like yeah no like i really did it blah 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 like we were playing truth or dare and um i think she told me uh oh no no no, no. They were playing truth or dare me her my friend her boyfriend and then the guy and my twin they were playing truth or dare in the gym by themselves and then my friend and her boyfriend ended up leaving and then um yeah so that ended up happening she ended up giving him head apparently i heard a i heard about 500 different stories i'm not gonna lie um i heard he did something to her too but then and then her pussy stank but then he actually didn't do anything to her but then told everybody that her pussy stank so how did how did you even know that her pussy stank if you, you she didn't do anything to her and then and then it ended up just being oh well she just gave me head all right bro <coughs> but um yeah anyway so after that she told me that i was just like that's crazy like i was just gonna take a day away from her she ended up being embarrassed about her or something ended up just staying like in iss all day or i don't know something like that or like with the counselor or something because he ended up telling everybody um which it makes sense he's a basketball player on varsity as a ninth grader um he's six foot fucking five and six foot six and fucking you know what i'm saying so it's like obviously he's gonna tell people um and he's big for running his mouth so yeah um but yeah so well that he was big for running his mouth especially then I, we all knew he was gonna run his mouth but um so after that i just wasn't talking to her for like couple of days and after i was just like well my mom told me i should set boundaries with you because my mom did she was like well if you still want to be friends with her just set boundaries like i was like i didn't think i had to set those type of boundaries you know what i'm saying she was, she was like well with certain people you do so with everyone you need to set your boundaries because everybody don't got common sense so i was just like okay you right you right so um i was like okay well since 
I've set boundaries with you. Just don't do it again. And she was, she was like, I promise I won't do it again, blah, blah, blah. So that was a f***ing lie. <laughs> what a dumbass I am, right, to believe that. You know, because I'm thinking, what on earth? Like, you know what I'm saying? They always say they hate each other. Maybe it's just, you know, she felt pressure. You know? Maybe she, maybe, maybe it was just, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I, just, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But, um, forgave her, became friends again. Throw it in the trash. Act like it never happened. I'm not gonna lie. She can't tell me I didn't act like it never happened. I would bring it up. I would bring it up. It, actually, I wouldn't. Would I bring it up? No, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't bring it up. I wouldn't bring it up. No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. I would bring it up with my, with, um, my best friend now. Um, back then, I think. Okay, yeah. So she said she would, she would promise she would never do it again. That's why we have more story, right? That's why we have more story. Um, so, damn. Okay, so she says she promised not to do it. We were in, we ended up being hella close again, blah, blah, blah. Um, about October hits, we're on fall break. She's at my house the whole break. The whole break. And when I say whole break, I mean whole break, okay? Okay. You, this nigga is texting me the whole break. He's talking about how he wanna, mm, how he wanna do this, how he, how he, he wanna, nah, 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 nah. I was like, no, boy. <laughs> no, boy. No, boy. I was embarrassing him in front of her. Literally. I was showing her the messages. Why is he texting me? Let me teach you, baby. Let me teach you. And the week after fall break happened, because we had a fall break. Um, we we get like a short summer break. If you're confused, we get a short summer break, and then we get fall. We get like mad like other breaks, like random ass breaks during the school year. But anyway, so after fall break, we come back. Her cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this is making me mad, y'all. Okay, so. We're in math class. <laughs> we all sit in a little pod. We, we're, we're like in threes. <clears throat> it's me. Me. Her cousin. It's a guy. Her step cousin, whatever. And then... My twin, right? I don't know what we're talking about. Oh, she's, he's talking about how, oh, no, no, she exposed him for how he fucked somebody, right? And I was like, I thought you never fucked her. She was like, he was like, why are you over here telling my business, blah, 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 type shit. Or something like that. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't that, or I think it was, though. So, we end up going to the next class. They just beef, but, like, that's usually, like, they beefing always, you know what I'm saying? But they, but they close, but they beefing, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's fake beef. Um... Then, <laughs> Boy, if you we're, doing our, we're doing our do now in world history. This is our third period. Second period is our math. Third period. Sophomore year, mind you, okay? First instance was freshman year, April. After, two weeks after my mom came back. Right? He ends up saying... Yeah, she, like, when she gave blah, 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 when she gave head to blah, blah, blah the second time, I was like, what? He was like, what do you mean, what? I was like, what, do you, what, what, it only happened one time. He was like, no, it didn't. It happened twice. She had me all the way fucked up. I just I didn't I didn't I didn't say anything. I didn't do anything. Did I say really? I don't know if I said really or if I just No, I didn't I don't think I did. I just looked at her crazy. Uh cuz she again we sat next to each other. She was right behind me and this nigga was right here. So
So when he says, no, it happened twice, I was like, no. I kept, I kept denying it, okay? I kept denying it. I kept denying it. And he was like, no, like, and she he just kept saying it. And I just looked at her, like, and I turned around and I was silent for the rest of the period. Then, I, this nigga, no, his class, the boys class is this class and our class is like right here. As soon as we in the period, I will see him, I walk, I grab him, right? He smiles. What the fuck are you smiling for? Cause I'm grabbing you, nigga, I'm about to beat your ass, bitch. Damn! Like two weeks before, he said that, oh yeah, she gave me head again. And I looked at him crazy. I just stared at him for 10 seconds. He was like, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. And then I told her, oh my gosh, it's crazy because I'm remembering everything. This is what happened in the last clip or last video um, before I started over. I would remember shit. But, um, fuck. I started hearing from 10, for 10 seconds, he was like, nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm like, I'm still trying to figure out if he's really kidding. And this is relevant, by the, by the way, because what he says whenever I pulled into the side. Um... And I was like, oh, okay. And I was like, just worry about it. And oh, this is gonna bother me. But um, then I asked my twin, I don't know, I tell my twin, I'm like, he just said that you gave him head again. And when I tell you the girl went ghost, like she said, and I was like, but he said it was a, he said it was a joke. And she was like, oh, okay. I should have knew. I should have just trusted my. I should just been like, so did you do it or what? Cause you acting weird. But I was never like that. I was always the benefit of the doubt. I was like, maybe she, I don't know. Like what the fuck? Ends up. Um. So when I pulled him to the side, um, after third period, I was like, so head give you head. So my twin gave you head again. <laughs> I just said her name, y'all. Um. My t so my twin gave you head again and he was like his, his whole facial expression changed because he went from to I told you you bitch you didn't tell me shit you said you were joking ho <sighs> get on my nerves anyway like I'm sorry for y'all that have to deal with niggas like niggas are niggas but um bitches are bitches too but anyway um so He's like, I told you. He was like, I was like, but you said you were joking. He was like, I still told you, blah, blah, blah. Ends up walking away. I'm just like, wow. This is crazy. Because, like, at this point, he's my best friend. So, I'm like, why didn't you tell me this shit? Like, y'all shouldn't be fucking around. Because I don't give a fuck if I liked you at the time or not. I liked you. You shouldn't be fucking around with each other, period. Like, y'all should both know that. Especially her, though. Like, But anyway, it was just the principle, y'all. Like, I just felt like things should be a certain way. So, it's like, if you don't do it that way, like, it's just common sense to do it that way, though. Like, why are you fucking with somebody I liked? You know what I'm saying? Like, in general. Like, anyway. So, ends up, um, I ended up finding out that it was two weeks after school started. Mind you, two weeks after school started is the week of my birthday. So you decided to break your promise that you weren't going to do it again the week of my birthday and decided to come to my birthday and spent the whole weekend with me knowing what you did. Cool, cool, cool. And then... It's not cool, y'all. It's not cool. I don't want this to happen again, actually, because I'm not inviting that into my life again, God. Just saying. Amen. <laughs> hey, hallelujah. Um, <sighs> y'all, this shit is crazy. Um, and I find out it was in an alley. Anyway, not my, not my issue. Um... But yeah, that's the story time, y'all. If you guys enjoyed the story time, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Um, that was basically it. But uh, we ended up becoming friends again. 
because <laughs> I forgave her I ignored her no I literally ghosted her or like I wasn't friends with her for like a couple months she swore I was like jealous over other people that she was talking shit about that she was mad talking shit about while she was friends with me and then ended up being friends with them um right after we stopped being friends because she did that shit um <laughs> I'm really not bothered y'all I promise don't worry been so many years it's just the fact of like you think somebody's so close to you and then like they do you the worst but um um but yeah it ended up being close with these other girls that she's talking shit about um i may seem crazy this whole video i just realized but like listen like, I didn't crash out during that time, so it's like, I want to crash out right now. But I'm not going to crash out because there's no reason to crash out, you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, so she ended up being friends with people she was talking shit about. And then, um, four months later, I was, like, doing Truth or Dare with my other friend, or with one of our friends. And, um, she, I was like, you're not going to dare me to do anything with you. I'm surprised oh my god i keep saying her name y'all i was like i'm surprised you haven't dared me to text my twin or my ex-twin that i miss her and she was like oh yeah do it and i did and then she ended up responding and i ended up unsending it after a day and or something i think i think that's what happened and she ended up texting me like i miss you too blah, blah, blah. i wish it never happened i wouldn't i wouldn't do it again i was like okay we can be cool but i don't think we're ever gonna be as close as we were and um <sighs> then COVID happened and then we were never as close as we were because it was never gonna happen and she was just negative I just she wasn't my type of person no more like it wasn't the same like even after the first time I was like okay I'm gonna just forgive her blah 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 but then it's like I can't see you in person it's not like we're gonna get close we can't see each other it's like it's just not meant to be like we're not meant to be friends but um yeah so that's what happened with that my twin um if you want more story times comment down below tell me what story times to do make sure you guys like comment and subscribe i know it's probably all over the place like i know it's always hopefully it's a little more clearer than the last one because that is my goal is to become a better storyteller or a better talker communicator but um yeah i love y'all bye